Hello again and welcome. This is Sandra Hart. Today, we're going to write a letter. Sometimes, we will find ourselves in a place in our lives where we have to use our imagination to take us into the garden. where we can see beautiful flowers, listen to the birds, and watch the bees. As long as we have our imagination, no matter where we are or at what point we are in our lives, we can always free ourselves and go to a beautiful place of comfort and joy. As long as we have our imaginations, we can travel anywhere. Again, this is Sandra at Life Over 60 with Sandra. And if you are a woman who is interested in living the very best life ever, then this just might be a good place for you to be. Welcome, and thank you for coming today. My life's trajectory has been like an umbrella on a rainy day, up and down. Just over Almost a year ago, after my 80th birthday, my husband, Arthur, asked me how I felt to be 80. I looked at him and I said, you know, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> you're 92 and you're asking me how I feel about being 80? Well, I guess he was right. And if you follow me, you know that I, I am honest about my age, but I don't promote it. I don't put it on my thumbnails. I usually don't. I've never really put it into my headlines except this time because I really feel that being 80 is nothing that I have really earned. Um, and it's not the most important thing about me, I hope. So it's not an achievement that has happened to me through my hard work. It's just absolutely luck. It's luck of genetics and um, just luck at being here to be able to talk to you today. Um, I've always felt, and I know you've heard this from probably a lot of other people, that age is just a number. I ne never really have thought about aging and the aging process. I just try to live each and every day with gratitude, and if another birthday comes around, hooray, I'm so glad. Because inside, even though my shell is falling apart, and when I look in the mirror, I'm, I can see that I have aged. I've got, you know, all of the things that all of us, all of us, men and women have when we age. But inside, I really honestly feel like I'm 35 again, except for one big difference. I am a whole lot wiser. Quite a while ago, I have a subscriber star, and they asked me if maybe I would do a video on a letter to my younger self. And I really thought about it, and I thought, you know, that really is a good idea because a lot of us, probably could sit down and write a letter at our age to our younger selves and kind of remind them of maybe what they should do and what they should not do. So I have decided to read you a letter that I wrote to my younger self, and I, I have purposely not made it about my career because I believe uh, a career... Uh, trajectory is one thing, but I wrote this letter to my younger self about what I have learned about relationships, 
because I feel that relationships in life are one of the most important things that we can ever have. And it has a lot to do with our success, our well-being, and our purpose in life. So today I am going to read the letter to you, and then I want you to write a letter to your younger self. And then if you could share with me in the comments below, I think all of us would like to hear from you about perhaps the advice that you would give to your younger self. And if you're still young, still write the letter, but write the letter and, and, and say maybe what your goals are as you age and what you want to be and what you would tell yourself when you're older and looking back about who you are today. I think this should be a lot of fun. So anyway, I'm going to get out my letter and I have it on paper here because I can't memorize the whole thing. So let me read my letter to you that I wrote to my younger self. Dear younger self, the foundation from your parents was a good beginning. They taught you civility, respect for others, personal responsibility, and the importance of a good work ethic. What you didn't get or absorb as a young woman, that it is extremely important to value yourself as deserving the best in relationships. Maybe it was there, maybe they taught you, or the era just hadn't evolved yet, but somehow you missed it. Please do practice self-love and know that you deserve the best and are worthy. Wait. Wait until the right relationship that makes the heavens explode inside of you comes along and all of the other things that are so important are checked off. Don't always lead with your heart. Share. Let your head share. In the end, you will be grateful that you did. In regard to your relationships with your children, please learn how to let go. Don't let your feeling of caretaking and responsibility last a lifetime. Children were meant to fly. Children were meant to leave the nest and make a life of their own. That's the way it is meant to be. Love never stops, but don't confuse love with letting go. Let them go and support their successes. Let them work out their failures with their own hands. Don't cripple them by always handing them a crutch. Two strong feet will never grow unless you let them walk on their own. Don't mourn an empty nest. Rejoice because your job is done. Sandra, in your last chapter, live a life of purpose. Take the lessons that you have learned and make them matter beyond yourself. You are finally unchained, uncaged, and liberated to live your dreams and to help others. 
Don't wait until tomorrow. Live in the day because that is all that you have right now. Open your umbrella and fly every single day of your life. And never forget that you deserve and are worthy of all the good that life can bring to you. And before I close, I want to tell you that never, ever give up on your faith. Your faith will be an anchor that will keep your ship afloat, will keep it even keel, and will allow you to cut through the rough waters when they come. Enjoy your life, live in the moment, and don't forget ever that you are worthy and that you do deserve. With all the love, your older self. So that is my letter to myself. I know that you will be able to compose a letter to your younger self. And genuinely, I am very interested just to see what you are going to say in your letter. Thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget to be really good to yourself. Be kind to whomever crosses your path. And of course, don't forget to share the love. And don't forget to learn from all the lessons that we at our age have been able to learn and to share them with others. Take care, know that I love you, and I hope to see you again in my next video. Thanks for stopping by.